Next up, we will practice the use of an AED that has CPR feedback technology and in this scenario, we are using the Zoll AED+. AEDs with real-time CPR feedback technology gives lay rescuers the confidence they need to save lives while helping rescuers avoid the most common mistakes made during CPR, insufficient chest compression depth and rate. During a sudden cardiac arrest, here's what we will do. Once the AED is retrieved and reaches the victim, open the AED's lid. Turn on the AED following the audio and visual prompts throughout the rescue process. An LED light will indicate what you should be doing. Unit, okay, adult pads. Stay calm. Check responsiveness. Call for help. Remember to remove the victim's clothes to expose his or her bare chest before attaching the electrode pads. Tear open the electrode pack and unfold the electrode pads. This is an electrode pad intended for adults. Some electrode pads, such as the one used here, are one-piece pads and designed for easy placement. Using the plus sign on the CPR sensor to guide you, place the CPR sensor in the middle of the chest, in between the nipple line. Press the CPR sensor with your right hand and peel away the protective backing that is attached to the electrode pads. Press the electrode from the center out to make sure that it adheres properly to the victim's skin. Once the pads are applied, the AED will automatically analyze the victim's heart rhythm. You should not touch the victim at this point, and the AED will remind you not to do so. Don't touch patient analyzing. The AED will determine whether the victim can be treated using defibrillation. If this is possible, the AED will announce. Shock advised. It will then remind you to Don't touch patient analyzing. Press flashing shock button. Maintain a safe distance from the victim and make sure that no one is touching the victim before pressing the shock button. Shock delivered. After the shock is delivered or if the AED announces No shock advised. The AED will advise you to perform CPR immediately. Place your hand on the CPR sensor here and deliver chest compressions to the victim. You will hear beeps or a metronome from the AED which are designed to guide you to the recommended chest compression rate. Try to maintain synchronization between the beeps and your chest compressions. Your chest compressions should be between 5 to 6 centimeters deep. These depths are represented by lines on the right hand side of the LCD display and the bar indicates the depth of each chest compression. If your compressions are less than 5 centimeters deep, the AED will prompt you to push harder. In this case, you will need to increase your compression depth. When you consistently achieve this, the AED will announce good compression. If you stop delivering chest compressions and do not start within the next 10 seconds, the AED will prompt you to continue CPR. The AED will automatically initiate another analysis of the victim's heart rhythm every two minutes and prompt you to deliver another shock if required. Continue using the AED until the victim shows signs of recovery or until professional medical help arrives.